What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Casper Chronicles. It's your boy Casper. Today we have another deck profile for you. This time it is Invoke Dogmatica. I guess some people can say or some people call uh this Invoke Dogmatica Shadal because you know like you can you can bring out Winda. Um but I view it as just uh Invoke Dogmatica, uh, because I view Schiz or, yeah, Schism as an honorary Dogmatica card. Um, so, uh, this is just Invoke Dogmatica. I know, uh, I told you in the previous video, um, that there's going to be, uh, an Invoke, uh, Shadal Dogmatica, uh, probably when I get back home. Uh, when you're watching this, I am definitely in Wisconsin. I should be... Yeah, I don't know when this is going to go live, but uh, I, this is Invoke Dogmatica. Shadal, I guess, if you want to call it, but uh, the real Invoke Dogmatica Shadal uh, is going to be coming uh, shortly after I get home. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, let's get right into it. So, obviously, we always are going to run three Alistair the Invoker. Well, it's at three. We gotta play it at three. You know, if it, it, it's it could potentially get hit to one <laughs> on the next list. I mean, that that could be a fear. Uh, Meltdown could get hit, but I mean, I, I hope this deck doesn't get hit because this this deck is my baby. Um. Uh, but uh, yeah, the the one card Macaba is still here. Uh, moving on. Uh, three Ecclesia. Um. You, you want to see this in your hand. It's just an additional way to, you know, get to your other Dogmatica stuff. Um, uh, but uh, you don't really need it. But, again, it is a way to somewhat play the game, get to your Dogmatica stuff. Uh, you can, uh, if you can figure out a way to get an extra deck monster to the graveyard, you can search Maximus and you can do the one card win to play. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, aside from that, this is just a, an extender, I guess, if you don't have a way, well, another way to, um, uh, what you call it, um, Winda. Uh, you can also, uh, normal summon Alistair, link into Almirage, um, and then special this, but don't activate the effect to search, link those two in Anaconda. And, I mean, you could have Macaba Enforcer with, um, uh, Anaconda set, or, 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 geez, Anaconda set, Anaconda as well to pop. Um, but we'll get into that a little later. Uh, like I said, we do play the Maximus. No one is siding for this card, or, well, prepared for this card in their extra deck. Uh, they, they should be, but I, I think a lot of the extra deck, well, with the exception of, like, Flunderies, uh, is, is pretty jam-packed tight so there's really not any room to play uh actual targets for maximus um which is nice you know so th this is just this this is absolutely a one card window uh the floor uh it's a it's a negate it's an interruption uh and it makes everything 500 attack points bigger when a dogmatica monster battles well when it declares an attack um this is pretty much the standard ratio i see a lot of people cutting ecclesia to two and just playing four i don't i don't like that just because uh like you want to see ecclesia uh like you can literally macaba enforcer whenever you see these two cards it's absolutely ridiculous um but uh yeah that that's it for the, the monster lineup actually uh, moving on to hand, well, actually, no, that's a lie. There, there's like a few more monsters. Uh, moving on to hand traps, three ash, three imperm. That's literally the only, the only hand traps we're gonna play. Um, uh, I considered uh, cutting ash for um, droll. Uh, I considered cutting, uh, playing two ash, uh, and playing uh, two valor. Uh, I considered a lot of different hand traps. Just these are the ones that I came down to. Ash, you know, Fusion Destiny is a thing. Uh, you can Ash that. Imperm, 
Uh, Imperm turns off Monster Negates. It dodges Talents because some people are playing Talents in the main, which is absolutely bonkers. I hate that stupid card. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, three Ben cards in one is a great idea, Konami. Thank you very much. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the Hand Trap lineup. It's very small. You want to play more Board Breakers in this format that we're in. Um, just because, like, Sword Soul is absolutely bonkers. Um, uh, Lyra, uh, what is it? Try Lyra, Lu Try Lyra Lusk or, uh, Bird Brigade, Bird Up, whatever you want to call it. That deck's actually pretty good, too. Uh, I've actually considered building that, um, thinking about it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you think I should build it. Um, but, uh, moving on to the spells. Uh, you got three more copies of Alistair, uh, a.k.a. Meltdown. Uh, and then the one terraforming, which is also another copy of Alistair. So you ha literally have seven ways to Alistair. Sure. And then uh, this is why I say this deck is my baby. I finally got two ulti invocations. I'm considering picking up a third one, but I, I don't foresee myself playing a third one. So, like, unless we play Desires for whatever reason, but uh, I, I don't like Desires, so I don't, I honestly don't foresee myself ever playing uh, more than two Invocation. Uh, I've, I've even seen people play one, which is absolutely wild. Um, like, everyone's ashing in uh, Alistair, so, you know, as they say, a good Invoked player is always going to have an Invocation in their hand. You know, if you play the one of and you draw that, you keep drawing that, that that's like... That card loves you. You never should get rid of that. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the standard invoked package. Uh, finally, max rarity. Um, uh, we got uh, three Nadir. Just more uh, Dogmatica stuff. This is a way to get to the... Or this is also a, uh, a one card window. Um, you Whatever you send. Um, you can... Uh, send, normally you would send Alkalone. Uh, to search uh, Maximus, uh, you can uh, uh, banish Apcolone. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Apcolone would add you Schism. You would discard a random card, and then you could banish Apcolone for Maximus. Maximus affects in Construct, or like honestly, you could send Construct uh, and uh, Titanoclad or whatever. Um, so that way, like you can. Uh, like special Ecclesia and the end phase in search of Fleur or something. So that way, like you would have Ecclesia, uh, Maximus, Fleur in hand, and then you have a schism set for Winda. You could even search a punishment. Sure. The sky's the limit. This card is absolutely broken. This card is probably going to get hit on the next list because this card is absolutely absurd. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, another broken spell. Oh, look at that, right? Io just shuts us down. Uh, three Fusion Destiny, and of course the rest of the Destiny package, Dasher and Celestial. Is it Celestial? Celestial, yeah. I, I, I don't know why I forgot the name. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, these are the two best ones. You can uh, n uh, special summon uh, whatever monster you draw. If you draw into like Nibiru, any like big ass hand trap, uh, this will dis banish this and Dasher, or you can even banish this and... Uh, Enforcer, uh, if you don't want your opponent to Monster Reborn that, um, and have it work in their favor, um, but, um, yeah, th th these are honestly the two best ones. I, I thought about playing Malicious, uh, over Dasher, but, you know, I was able to get a rare Dasher as much as I hate it. Uh, I want the ulti, but yikes, the ulti is expensive. Um, but, uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, draw power. This is kind of a, a, a new trend that every invoked player, well, invoked Dogmatica player is starting to use. Uh, as, uh, prosperity. Uh, you ask Alistair and they don't have it in hand and they have this, they going to dig. They're going to try to dig for it. They have to try to dig for it. Um, because you stop Alistair. If we don't have a, we don't have Nadir or a way to get to the Dogmatic engine, that's our turn. Um, so, uh, prosperity is pretty awesome. Do not ever ever banish six unless you are just you have no plays at all never banish six with this card uh and honestly if you if you draw multiple cool you have a spell in hand for 
um, a carbon negate, right? Um, and there's uh, some traps. Uh, well, in in the side the side you could play some extra traps, right? Like I would definitely side red Rubu because this deck has a very issue, very big issue with back row. Um, I would side red reboot and hold reboot in hand because you can still activate it in hand but pay half your life. You don't need to, and you just need to negate one trap. Cool, Macabre negate, negate and banish that trap. Uh, discard or send red reboot. Uh, your opponent gonna be big mad. Um, but uh, yeah, three of is kind of kind of needed. Uh, you want to see it. Uh, so for the kind of board breaker esque cards, I guess you could call it. Right. Uh, I mean, the Dogmatica engine can can break board pretty fairly easily. Uh, depending on, you know, what, what you're playing against. Uh, so we got two Chalice uh, and two Droplets. Uh, you would also, you, uh, you would side Dark Ruler and evenly matched, uh, of course, uh, going second. Um, but uh, you can also, like, I, I honestly consider putting Dark Ruler in the main deck for um, just, you know, in case I do go second, but like, these, these are fine. Uh, droplets you can actually play in here because you don't like you care but you don't care because like uh, you could honestly droplets uh, send ecclesia if you have nadir in hand or whatever uh, whenever you're done you can activate nadir and you can pick up ecclesia from the graveyard and you could just continue to facilitate your place uh, from there which is pretty nice and then uh, if it's just one monster negate cool you can use this you know since you send a monster your opponent can't respond um, or, uh, what you can do is you can chalice, uh, attempt to negate a monster effect. Cool, cool. They try to negate it, chain droplets, send this and a monster, or just honestly send this if they don't have any other monster negate available. Um, and yeah, you can negate two monsters on the field. Cool. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, like, like I said in the, uh, the Phantom Knight deck profile, uh, two cross out, one call by. This is the ratio now. Um, I do like cross out in this as well. Uh, there are definitely some decks it's not really good in, um, but uh, cross out in this deck is kind of. Uh, I, I feel it's almost mandatory because you definitely need Alistair to resolve. If Alistair resolves, you can you can keep going. Um, I, I considered putting Lancia in the main, uh, just the one of to uh, f stop them from. Uh, la doing Lancia on me when I activate Invocation, which sucks. Uh, but that's more of like uh, game two, game three after the side decks are in play. Because uh, as far as I know, no one's really maining Lancia uh, at the moment. Um, so, well, I mean, I guess mm, I don't. I don't know if Lunderese mains it to be honest. Uh, I doubt it because I know they want to banish, but sure. Uh, moving on though. Uh, call by, like I said in the PK video, call by is an additional cross out. Cross outs are an addition, are two additional cross, uh, call buys. So it, it, it's, they work. I like this ratio a lot. Um, uh, back row hate, uh, two cyclone. Um, I thought about feather duster. Uh, but you know, I kind of want a, a quick play response to Imperial Order because Imperial Order, as you saw, we play a ridiculous amount of, tra of, of traps of uh, monster. Uh, my goodness, I said everything else but spell card. Got it. Uh, I'm tired. Um, but uh, <laughs> excuse me. Um, Cyclone is just a quick play out to uh, Imperial Order. It's an optimistic mind. Gotta always main that because I hate the stupid card. And I mean, like I said in uh, the PK video, I definitely um, would consider main decking one just for the simple fact of uh, I can uh, use it as a cross out target. Uh, in this, uh, it's you can OTK, but it's not. It's not really like super consistently uh able to otk but macaba ecclesia and fleur is is exactly i believe 8k it's either 8k or 9k um if you need it um uh, uh you can uh use alistair if you uh if you need any more than 8k uh yeah 25 to 15 4k oh yikes 
or I'm sorry, 25 and 2K, so that's 45, and floor would be 3K, 75. So you need 500 more cool Alistair Boost Macabre to for for the game. Um, yeah, but uh, that that that's another. That's uh, moving on. Yikes! I need to go to sleep. Um, so uh, back row hate. Yes, moving on. One punishment, and then an honorary uh, Dogmatica cards. Should all schism, right? Schism's a broken card. I really hope they don't ban this. But I, I honestly could see them banning this because this card is absolutely broken. Uh, punishment. We all know what punishment does. Uh, you can uh, double pop something. Oh, let's send an Entis. Um, you can send uh, like Shadal monsters if you need Shadal monsters in the grave. I don't know why you would send that though, because uh, the Schism wouldn't be live until the end of your next turn if you activated on your opponent's, or at the end of your opponent's next turn if you activate it on yours. Um, but uh, yeah. Moving on to the extra deck. <sighs> Let's see here. So, a little bit has changed, but I mean, it's it's not not a lot. Um, the links, you know, like I said, you can you can do the Anaconda play now, where you can end on Macabre uh, Enforcer, uh, Gardna, and Elmarosh. You have to play these pack this package uh, if you're playing Maximus because. Uh, you can link Elmarosh, uh, link Alistair and Elmarosh, Elmarosh on the Secure Garden, and now you have a target for Maximus Banish, um, uh, versus, uh, what's her name, Artemis, you have another, you have a free spot in the extra deck, but you don't have a Banish target, like, you have to have Nadir in order to, uh, facilitate the Maximus play, and Winda is a very powerful card, um, uh, but, uh, yeah, that, that, that's it for the links. Uh, onto the fusions, um, to Macabre, pretty standard, uh, and well, and invoke Dogmatica, um, it's, it's an Omni Negate, it, it, it's mainly for a monster negate, to be honest, uh, if I'm being honest, it's definitely protection from Nibiru, because without this card, we, we can't play through Nibiru, um, which, it, it, it sucks, <laughs> um, uh, one Purgatrio, uh, just because, you know, I play Ash, I play El Mirage, uh, I, I, some people are playing Ash, uh, man, uh, dude at our locals plays Salaman, great, cool, come here, come get this Purgatrio, um, Radian, gotta play it, when the, the barrier statue is definitely a thing, uh, and it's very annoying, Konami, if you're listening, please, hit the stupid barrier statue because my goodness I hate playing against a stupid card uh especially with this like I can't I can't special like and my biggest monster is a thousand um so um uh, yeah I I would crash but then normally they have like rendezvous uh on the field or even in the grave so they would just banish and protect and I just lost to Alistair for no reason I mean I guess I can normal summon a clazy and beat over it and you know, pray they don't have rendezvous set, but that's neither here nor there. Moving on, um, and then the final uh invoke card is uh o Ogoides, I think is how you say his name or her name, whatever it is. Um, this is just to help uh facilitate the OTK. Uh, this card, um, you have to have two fusions in the grave to go into this. Remember, you can use your opponent's graveyard, I'll be the first one to tell you, I forget it all the time for when I played uh, Invoke Dogmatica where you can uh, invocation and banish your opponent's fusion and then you have a fusion in grave. Cool. Let me go ahead and banish that fusion. This and pump this guy up and kapow. Uh, and he pops a special summon monster uh, um, once once per turn. Well, when he summoned or your opponent special summons a monster, so that's pretty good. Um, so... That's it for um, the, yikes, for the Invoke package, my goodness. Um, so for Shadal Engine, one Construct, one App Cologne, and I've opted for two Window. So my thought behind this, right, is there are some times where um, Construct can come up 
Optimum can never come up because you don't play main deck Shadals. Um, and, well, I mean, I guess it really could. Uh, if you have window and construct in the grave, you can make out cologne, but that is extremely few and far between. Um, so, uh, if your opponent outs the one window, you can window into another one. Cool. Get your schism and send schism. If you have to send schism, this will pick up schism. Self-explanatory. The double window, I do, I do like this a lot. <clears throat> um, gravy, oh, uh, punishment food and, and or Nadir food, uh, Titanoclad and Entis. Uh, double pop is usually what this is used for with punishment. Um, and this is uh, to get your Dogmatica engine going if you don't have access to your full Dogmatic engine. Cool, send Titanoclad and in the end phase you can get uh, like Fluor, you can get uh, Ecclesia, or you can Special Ecclesia to get Fluor, you can get Special Ecclesia and get Punishment, you know, uh, yeah. Self-explanatory, everyone should know what this does by now. And finally, as you saw, we have to, we are playing the one Phoenix Enforcer. This card is just, this card is absolutely absurd. I do really like this card a lot. Um... Konami should never have printed this, but I like it. So I guess I guess it can stay. You know, unlike Mystic Mind, man, that shit gotta go. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, uh, that is the deck profile. I, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, and again, I'm not sure exactly when this is gonna go up. If you really enjoyed the deck profile, please do consider subscribing, like the video, and comment down below if there's anything you would change. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna cut this short and sweet because lordy i need to go to sleep uh but uh yeah guys uh until next time it's your move